Hey creative people, you're watching Shiny Films and today I'm going to be showing you a super easy way to add text in HitFilm. Today's beginner tutorial will be 1 out of 5 on the difficulty scale, it will be super easy. So most of the time when you create text in HitFilm, you're probably used to opening composite shots and creating new text layers. But this way is much easier, much more efficient, and while it's not as customizable as the ways that you can do in the composite shot, it is much more useful for a variety of situations. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do this. The first thing we're going to do is to go into the effects panel and just search for the text effect. You can either search for it or go into generate and go to text. You can just select this effect and drag it onto your video. Immediately we see the text appear, but you'll notice that this is actually an add-on. This is only available by buying the add-on pack or purchasing the full version of HitFilm Pro. Now, if you do click on the link down in the description below, then it'll take you to the HitFilm store where you can either buy HitFilm Pro for $2.99 or you can go to the add-on store where you can buy it for, where you can buy the pack with just this effect in it. It's called the Edit Starter Pack and it costs 10 bucks and it has this text effect inside it. So you can either buy the text uh, starter pack or you can buy HitFilm Pro. Either way, if you use the code SHINY10 at checkout, you'll get a 10% discount of your purchase. So that's pretty useful. So make sure to click in the link in the description below and to use the code SHINY10 if you wanna get that 10% discount. But of course, you shouldn't just go ahead and purchase it right now because in this new update, you can check out all of the add-ons and all of the pro effects in the Express version of HitFilm. It'll just have this HitFilm Express watermark on it. So while you won't be able to actually export your text properly, if you just use this in the Express version of HitFilm, you will be able to completely try out the effect, the effect to see if you wanna purchase it in the end. So let's just open up this effect and see how it works. Opening up the effect, we can click on the character edit text box here and we can just change the text. Here I've just changed it to a little time signature and we've got our text changed like so. Now we're going to look at the transform. The transform is how we can move the text around, its positioning and all of that. We can adjust the position by editing the values here or we can just go ahead and drag the text to our desired position we can also rotate it like so, or by entering in an exact value here. If I just reset all of this, however, we're gonna mess with the offset from property. By default, it's center, which means it'll be in the center of our position. But for example, if we go to the bottom, we can have it centered at the bottom, or bottom left, it'll be at the bottom left. And this is really great if we want to have subtitles or some kind of special text, which this text effect is really well suited for. But let's just go into center and we'll start messing with the format. Open up format and you'll get all of your normal stuff, font, style, alignment. You've got color, opacity, font size, and all that stuff should be pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna head and quickly change some of my font and my color and my opacity and I'll be right back. Okay, so you can adjust all of that. You've also got line spacing, which is the space between lines and word wrap. So if I just go ahead and change this text to something really long and really messy, and I just hit OK, and we just increase the font size a little bit, you'll notice that it wraps around and it goes onto a new line as it would have been cut off. And if we uncheck uh, line spacing, or word wrap, sorry, if we uncheck enable word wrap, then this won't happen. and It'll just go in one continuous line. We can also set the word wrap width. By default, it's the width of our video, but we can also make it smaller if you want to have a smaller looking text box. And line spacing will just be the spacing between each of these lines if you do have those lines. But I'm just gonna go ahead and reset my text really quick. You can also of course change the blend mode to see how it blends in with its background. And you can also have motion blur if you're moving the text around. Speaking of moving text around and all of that stuff, you can animate a number of the properties here. For example, you can change the actual text over time even with just one text effect. If I hit the keyframe button here, it'll make sure that at this point in time, we know that the text will be 9 o'clock AM. However, if we drag it over to a point, for example here, and we just change the text to be something like this, and we just hit OK, then at the next frame, you'll notice that the text changes to be our new text, and it goes back to our 9 o'clock AM. So in this way, you can actually create subtitles and change the text really, really easily. Way easier than you could if you had the text in a composite shot. You can also keyframe value for, for stuff like position 
and that's where the motion blur comes in as well. But essentially that's how you create this text in the editor in HitFilm. Of course, if you want to purchase this, then you can use my link in the description and my code SHINY10 at checkout for that 10% off. Anyway, if you did like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And of course, you can subscribe to my channel Shiny Films if you want more content just like this. I'll see you in the next video. Stay shiny.